Over the past three weeks, we've discovered that there's so much more to this vibrant city of Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, than the famous Petronas Towers and the mouth-watering food. We put together this video to highlight some of the hidden delights KL has to offer. Come join us and you'll see why this city has won a place in our hearts. Titi Wangsa Park, named for the mountains on the horizon, is a lovely little park. It has a man-made lake, the result of tin mining activity years ago. Now the lake is a beautiful attraction with pathways all around it and a big fountain in the middle. You can rent boats and go out on the water or rent bikes to ride around the lake. There's a short canopy walk, a playground, and lots of picnic tables and benches. We loved our visit to the National Art Gallery. The building itself was airy and spacious, and there were lots of benches to sit on in the different display sections. There were even little chairs and pieces of art hung low on the walls for children to enjoy. From indigenous sculpture to colorful portraits to batik art, the work on display was both approachable and culturally multi-layered. We were so lucky to get to visit this Taoist temple in Kuala Lumpur's Chinatown on Lunar New Year's Day. It was busy with devotees making offerings, burning joss papers or paper money to ensure their ancestors are provided for in the afterlife, praying and lighting incense. I even rang the huge bell three times for prosperity. Up on the rooftop of a huge new mall, this burgeoning garden oasis has it all. Because of its proximity to our apartment, we visited this garden several times, strolling through its pathways and snapping photos of flowers. The playground area and splash park for children seemed very popular too. We wished our grandson was with us. Merdeka Square is where the cries of independence first rang out in Malaysia. This little city gallery is located on Merdeka Square and does a great job exploring the history of the city of Kuala Lumpur through photos and artwork. The piece de resistance for us was going up the little stairway and finding the huge, fantastic 3D model of the city. This amazing light and sound show is in the city centre park at the base of the Petronas Twin Towers. It happens each hour from 8 till 10 every night. At first a contemporary piece of music plays and I think, well, this is the perfect music for this show. And then a classical piece of music plays and I think, no, wait a minute, this is actually the perfect music. We saw this beautiful show multiple times. We spent hours touring the rooms of this excellent museum. It's the only place on this list that actually charged admission, but it was a steal at just five ringgits each, less than two dollars Canadian. I got a much better grasp of the people of Malaysia, their rich culture and traditions, and their turbulent history as they battled for independence for centuries. This Hindu temple is in Chinatown, across the street from the Chinese Taoist temple. 
Founded in 1873, it is the oldest Hindu temple in Malaysia, and it was a welcoming, peaceful oasis for us hot, weary travelers. We sat and basked in the serenity of this temple. This bookstore was amazing. Aisle after aisle, shelf after shelf, section after section, books and more books, and many reading nooks and crannies, different seating options, a grand piano, coffee bar, walls with literary quotes juxtaposed with framed reproductions by old masters. This park really is a jewel at the heart of this beautiful city. For us, the highlights are the endless pathways to wander through, the countless waterfalls, the big beautiful lake with fountains, and the orchid garden. The park is so peaceful and lush and still, just the odd monitor lizards slinking through the underbrush. Thanks for joining us in our wanderings. If you'd like to read about our travel experiences too, a link to our blog is in the information section below. See you soon.